hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so here is another question on full wave rectifiers so the question is that in the center tap circuit the diodes are assumed to be ideal it is having zero internal resistance we have to find the uh, DC output voltage peak inverse voltage and rectification efficiency okay so this is the circuit that is already given in the question so we'll simply copy it okay okay copy here okay this so this is the circuit we have to deal with it so here uh, don't get confused with this uh, circuit diagram if you draw it in this way too okay if you draw it in this way like this this is also correct okay this is also correct this is the same thing we don't get confused about that this will always be the load resistance one end is connected to the center tap point other end is connected to ground we have two ideal diodes with zero resistance we have the 230 volt supply voltage the rms value turns ratio is 5 is to 1. now <clears throat> we have to determine first the secondary voltage okay the secondary winding voltage first for that we have to use the turns ratio concept now here we know turns ratio is np by ns is equal to the number of turns of primary winding the number of turns of secondary winding is a step down transformer and the turns ratio is directly related to the primary and secondary winding voltage that is vp by vs here we will be using the rms value because the rms value is given so vp rms by vs rms vp rms is already given us it is 230 volt this is equal to 5 by 1 the turns ratio so that implies v s rms that is the rms value of the secondary voltage is equal to 230 by 5 which is equal to 46 volt then we have to find the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage this is a sinusoidal supply so the maximum value we know that the rms value for a sinusoidal supply is v max by root 2 that implies v max is equal to v rms into root 2 here don't confuse it with full wave rectification here we are only talking about the supply okay it is the supply which is sinusoidal type ac supply okay so for that for sinusoidal rms is v max by root 2 dc is 2 v max by pi same as full wave rectification so don't confuse it with full wave rectification they have the same formula for rms and dc values so here the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage is simply vs rms into root 2 which is equal to 46 here which we have calculated into root 2 which is equal to 65 volts this is very important this is the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage so if we just create some space here to i want to make a point here so for that will require a bit of space okay
okay this is plus this is minus okay this voltage here is vs max which is equal to 65 volt from here to here the secondary winding voltage the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage now the center tap point it divides this 65 volt secondary winding voltage the maximum equally okay so this becomes 65 by 2 that is 32.5 volt and again from here to here it is 32.5 volt which is the maximum value of the voltage which appears across the diode during any given cycle okay v max v max okay this is very important to understand this is very important to understand okay so here the maximum value of the voltage which appears across the diode during any given cycle positive or negative because only in one any given cycle only one of the diode conducts in a center tap type full wave rectifier this is equal to v secondary max divided by 2 because of the center tap connection that is equal to 65 volt by 2 which is equal to 32.5 volt okay this now we have got some values now we can proceed first it has been asked to find the dc output voltage okay the same as the dc value of the output voltage v output dc or it is same as v output average value now we know that for a full wave rectifier the average value or dc value is simply 2 v max by pi okay similarly current idc is equal to 2 i max by pi same thing here we have calculated v max is equal to 32.5 volt okay by mistake don't write it 65 volt that is only for bridge type full wave rectifier for center type tap full wave rectifier the secondary winding voltage gets divided equally from the center tap to the other end okay so always remember to put this when there is a center tap type full wave rectifier always use this concept that is the whole point of center tap full wave rectifier so here it is equal to 2 v max by pi which is equal to here 2 into 32.5 by pi and that is equal to 20.7 volt okay 20.7 volt then it has been asked to find the peak inverse voltage so what is the peak inverse voltage it is the maximum reverse voltage that appears across a diode during any given time so for that we have to draw a another circuit here okay again i will be using the same i'll be to you know make you understand again i will be copying this okay this Okay, this here. Okay. So we have determined this as thirty two point five volt from here to here, and again from here to here. let's say this is the positive half cycle this is during the positive half cycle when the upper end of the secondary winding and primary they becomes positive and negative respectively so during this this diode which is ideal it behaves like a 
short circuit it behaves like a short circuit because it conducts during the positive half cycle so during this this diode is subjected to reverse voltage because this end is connected p type end is connected to negative and n type end is connected to this positive so the total reverse voltage to which this non conducting diode is subjected to is if we apply kvl it is 32.5 volt plus 32.5 volt which is v max plus v max which is secondary winding voltage maximum value okay 2v max this is equal to 2v max so the peak inverse voltage for a center tap type full wave rectifier is always equal to 2v max and what is this v max it is the maximum value of the center tap voltage that is the voltage measured from the center tap point okay this center tap point to the other end this is called as the peak inverse voltage for a center tap type full wave rectifier okay so for here the peak inverse voltage is equal to 2v max which is equal to 2 into 32.5 volt which is equal to 65 volt that is the peak inverse voltage for this case okay then we have been asked to find what rectification efficiency so for that we have to determine the idc value and i rms value okay now idc is simply v output dc by rl okay dc output divided by load resistance so that is equal to the output dc value voltage which we have calculated it is 20.7 volt divided by load resistance is 100 ohm load resistance is 100 ohm 20.7 volt divided by 100 ohm which is basically 0.2 207 ampere that is the idc value okay idc value is 0.207 ampere then we have to determine the uh, rms value so for that first we have to determine the maximum value we know that idc is equal to 2 i max by pi for full wave rectifier that implies i max is equal to idc into pi by 2 idc into pi by 2 that is equal to idc here we have calculated 0.207 into pi by 2 and that is equal to 0.325 ampere that is i max 0.325 ampere okay this now we can determine the rms value now rms value is equal to i max by root 2 for full wave rectifier so here it is 0.325 by root 2 which is equal to 0.229 ampere so this is the rms value 0.229 ampere okay this now we have to determine the ac input power and the dc output power 
now ac input power okay ac input power is equal to i square rms into rf plus rl in this case rf is equal to 0 it is simply i square rms into rl which is equal to 0 0.229 whole square into rl which is equal to 100 which is equal to it is coming around 5.281 watts similarly the dc output power the dc output power is equal to i square dc into rl here idc we have calculated it is uh, idc is 0 0.207 ampere so it is 0 0.207 whole square into 100 which is equal to it is coming around 4.2849 watts okay this and this we have got okay this is PAC input this is PDC output now rectification efficiency formula is simply the output DC power divided by the AC input power that is equal to 4.2849 watts divided by 5.281 watts that is equal to it is coming around 81.06 percentage okay this so this is the rectification efficiency okay this is the rectification efficiency okay so here from this question we determined first uh, it was clearly mentioned as a center tag full wave rectifier using the turns ratio concept we determined the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage then we determined the center tapped voltage the maximum value from then we determine first the DC output then the peak inverse and then we determine the DC current RMS current maximum current and from that we determine the AC input power and the DC out output power and then the rectification efficiency okay